Until two years ago, Shim Laoyan was a rice farmer in Henan province in northern China. Now he's making the final touches for the inauguration of Senegal's first wrestling stadium. It's due to be opened on Saturday by China's President Xi Jinping, who's making his first visit to West Africa. No detail is being spared for his arrival. Everything has to be perfect for Tan Yolan, a former restaurant owner from Sichuan, who's now a mason. We've been working here for years. We're proud of what we've done and we want people in China to know what we've built here. It's more than just a stadium. With $1.6 billion in investment, the Chinese government says it's Senegal's largest foreign investor. And with it has come an influx of Chinese migrants who've made Dakar their home. This is where they live. Chinatown is right on the capital's main avenue. Most migrants come from China's poor provinces. After working in construction, some set up shops selling Chinese goods to Senegalese customers. I have been living here 15 years. My sister, my aunt, my brother-in-law all own a shop around the corner. Senegal is my country too. Although there are no government migration statistics, estimates range from 250,000 to 2 million Chinese living in Africa who are not all welcome. Dozens of Chinese vendors have been killed in the past five years. No arrests have been made. With so many Chinese migrants choosing to make this place their home, there's a rise in anti-Chinese sentiment, not just here in Senegal, but throughout Africa. And so China's government is now on a charm offensive, trying to win over hearts and minds in countries it's investing in. This is one of 40 newly opened Confucius Institutes in Africa. Here, the Chinese state offers classes in the martial art Tai Chi and making green tea, as well as Mandarin language lessons for adults and children. I want to see the Great Wall of China, eat their food and speak their language, because my mom says it will be useful one day. Xi Jinping is due to sign additional agreements with Senegal's president, Mikey Sal, including the first Chinese garment factories in West Africa promising thousands of new jobs for both Senegalese workers and Chinese migrants alike. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.